Martin here with you on Enlightened World Network. And today's topic is stepping out of the comfort zone into possibility, into our expanded expression. So um, we often get comfortable and and uh, avoid challenging our our edges. And uh, today we're going to talk about how we come into our greatest expression when we when we explore the edges and uh, expand them. So before we get started, let's take a minute or two to get present. Let's take a deep breath in through your nose and hold it. And imagine clean, crisp oxygen flooding your lungs, flowing into your bloodstream, nourishing all your cells, all your organs, bringing vital life energy to your body and being. And as you exhale, exhale any tension, stress, negativity, fatigue. And now let's take another deep breath in through your nose and hold it. This time, imagine brilliant, bright light lighting you up from the inside out, illuminating, electrifying, and energizing all your cells, all your molecules, your electrons, creating a brilliant beam of light and energy from your heart out into the world. And as you exhale, exhale any remaining tension, stress, negativity, fatigue, and now let's press our palms together, vigorously rub your hands together to feel the friction, the temperature, the pressure, the motion, the tickling and tingling when you stop and allow all those sensations to bring you present right here, right now into this remarkable physical form that enables us to experience life. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So stepping out of the comfort zone to get ourselves to, to make a bit of a reach, make a bit of a stretch, uh, the rewards of that are, are so much greater than our, um, than the comfort, uh, you know, the, the, ease of just just uh staying settled all the time it's it's really through some disruption that we get to experience growth and um it, growth I, I don't know. I'm a, I'm a growth junkie, I guess. Um, that life is so much about learning for me and so much about um, expansion, expansion, uh, evolution. And as a result of that, uh, I find myself constantly learning. It was, it's really interesting. I, I was talking to a client the other day who said that they have never taken any kind of course outside of school. They've never taken any kind of um, training course, uh, lessons, formal kind of lessons in in pretty much anything uh, out of fear of failure. And I thought, wow, this is so interesting um, because for me, learning learning is the foundation of living for me. For me, learning is what life is all about. And I often find myself saying, when you stop learning, you start dying. And um, I, I've always been an active uh, pursuer of new, new learning, new experience, new discovery. 
um, not in all arenas, I guess. We all have our constraints, our, our uh, areas of limitation uh, or areas that aren't ju just aren't of interest. But um, I, I kind of have an unquenchable hunger for understanding and curiosity. I guess that's, that's really the heart of it is uh, an unquenchable curiosity. And to me, that is very much the foundation of life and vitality is to be curious about the world that we live in, to be curious about how things work, to be curious about how we each individually tick and, and, um, there's there's a richness available in that and it takes a willingness to not look good right as we're learning new things um there's an awkwardness about it and it means stepping out of our comfort zone it means being willing to be not good at something for example you know, when we start learning something new, it's uncomfortable because we're not good at it. If we were going to be good at it, we wouldn't. I mean, if we were good at it from the outset, typically it's not something we would have to learn. Right. Uh, but when we learn new patterns of behavior, when we learn a new language, when we learn uh, new ways of of doing things or or we learn about new things to do that learning process is a process and it's an evolution and what happens is in the process we are evolving ourselves and we keep our minds alive we keep our mind active we we keep ourselves flexible um and we we allow ourselves to evolve you know to be connected to life and um the energy of that and so we have these ideas of who we are and based on those ideas, we also have prescribed behavior that is consistent with who we believe ourselves to be. So if we believe ourselves to be, if we're of whatever age and we believe that we're old or we believe that we're young or we believe whatever it is we believe we act from that place and um we maybe we believe there are certain ways of being that are age appropriate and so then that governs our behavior and um i think the stereotypes that we adopt kind of create this well, we talk a lot about context here so it uh, these stereotypes that we adopt create context for the way that we live and the way that we be and when we challenge those stereotypes when we challenge those contexts which is our our zone of comfort then we can find ourselves in a new place of of aliveness and vitality a new place of joy and to be really coming to a greater sense of freedom ultimately 
I think that that's the work of the core connection work that I do with folks is for us to be experiencing greater freedom, greater authenticity. It's very much about being in a more, uh, a full and aligned expression of our essential selves. And I've spoken with people who are seeking a, an understanding, like trying to know who they are. And I, I think that that is such an interesting question. You know, who am I? And we've we've spoken about all the different, good morning, good morning, Rosalyn. Welcome, so good to have you here with us this morning. Welcome, welcome. And of course, welcome to everybody else who's here with us. So um, we're talking about stepping out of our comfort zone. And part of that comfort zone is the identities that we create for ourselves, the, the things that we define ourselves by or the way that we define ourselves. And I think that challenging that opens up our experience in ways that we can't even imagine. You know, like we we go for this identity thing, like who am I as, as something that is a fixed commodity. And it and it so completely isn't. We are we are in the experience of life. We are evolving in the experience of life. And we're changing and growing. And there are certain um, maybe consistent themes, consistent traits, consistent values, perhaps, through our lives. And even those values can shift and change. And we tend to identify with the superficial expressions of our personalities or our roles rather than with our essential selves, the, the part of ourselves that is the timeless essence that that really carries us through all the time that we experience in our lives and so when that essence the thing about that essence is it isn't really bound by the limits of personality it isn't bound by um constrained identity it isn't bound by constrained behavior and i'm not i'm not one for the uh, notion of just do it like push past everything and ignore what you're you know the ignore any resistance i'm kind of more in the space of let's collaborate with that and and use that resistance as a tool to better find a path to freedom you know to to use whatever comes up in terms of our um our emotions and our reactivity and to use all of that as a uh, foundation or as a seed or as a catalyst even better for our growth and and evolution and when i talk about evolution what i'm talking about is evolution toward freedom and uh, freedom from the limitations that we impose upon ourselves and stepping into that freedom is often very uncomfortable 
Good morning. Good morning. Love by God. So good to have you back with us. And Rosalind says, when people retire from their careers, what do you see in clients struggle with or when parents have kids that move out of the house? So it's interesting because when people are of a certain age and I am of that certain age, I guess, um, there's there's certain ideas about, okay, well, what if I'm retiring from a career and also once the kids are not are not in the house, what is my life about? What do I want my life to be about? And when people retire, they've identified for so many years as their occupation in so many ways. And parents have identified as parents and have have maybe lost touch with their own heart's desires, their own personal drive, their own personal um, need for or calling for expression. So one of the biggest things is what's my purpose? What's my purpose? And that question alone, asking that question, like, what's my mission? What am I here for? What do I want to contribute? That question in and of itself is often stepping out of the comfort zone and stepping into our potential, stepping into our possibilities. And when when raising children or when in a career uh, with all kinds of financial obligations and responsibilities, people often do not have or do not allow themselves or some combination of the two to, in big air quotes, indulge in the question of what is my purpose? And one of the things that I think will makes a difference for all of us is to be living in alignment with our values. And oftentimes, you know, when our our work isn't aligned with our, our expression and our essence. And so when people retire, when the kids are out of the house, uh, then people grant themselves a greater freedom oftentimes to be exploring that very personal, very confronting question of what am I up to? What what is going to make my life meaningful? What is going to, how can I provide myself with this deeper sense of fulfillment? And that's what we're really talking about is finding greater fulfillment that's what the the freedom is the freedom to be our authentic selves and to pursue those things that nourish and nurture us and catalyze us that that um activate us that bring us into greater vitality and aliveness and it's uncomfortable, but we can choose to step into that discomfort because we have a greater commitment, because we have a greater intention for ourselves. There's nothing like a sense of mission and purpose to make getting out of bed in the morning, something that has energy to it rather than dread. You know, it's like, oh, another day. Well, versus, oh, wow. You know, like I get to 
I get to do something. I get to engage with life in a way that enriches my heart and soul. And the, the uh, just do it mentality is something that we often apply to ourselves to in, in a way that denies that essential calling of life and of purpose um when when we you know it's interesting it's interesting because i guess there's at least two sides if not more to pretty much anything um there is some merit certainly to pushing ourselves a bit and when we're constantly driving 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 without conscious reflection around that it's very different from giving ourselves the encouragement to step into the uncomfortable a bit to stretch ourselves and i guess it's the same as with working out you know working out pushing yourself a bit with working out is good and you can overdo it to the point where you injure yourself and so we're looking to find a balance in that in that expansion we want we want to be expanding and growing and evolving but not to the point where we blow ourselves out i've done that and um it actually and this is the same with working out if you push yourself too much it's going to take you a lot of recovery time before you can get back to working out right so but if you push yourself that that magic amount what happens is you grow you get stronger you get more um more vigor you get more um resilience more stamina right but if you overdo it then you kind of end up having to spend time recovering so the the encouragement is to take on challenges that are inspiring and and to take them on in a way that expands us and supports us without blowing us out if that makes sense and sometimes that's a that's a delicate tightrope to you know, find that place of to find that edge. You know, it's on the edges that that the growth takes place. It's on the edges that there's all kinds of possibility. And what we want to be able to do is to expand into our potentials to be more fully expressed to be living into our possibilities and our and our potentials and in order to do that we get to challenge ourselves ongoingly and we can challenge ourselves with gentleness and compassion and kindness. 
we can invite ourselves maybe this is maybe this is a good distinction we can invite ourselves into a future rather than pushing ourselves into the future um coax ourselves into the future it feels a lot different than pushing ourselves over the edge right but it is very much about being willing to step into that edge of discomfort where there's some excitement. People will often say anxiety, but there's a fine line between excitement and anxiety. Anyway, that's the invitation. And that's it for this morning. I'm Mira Rubin. This is The Core Connection. And I go live here each weekday morning at 9 a.m. Eastern on the Enlightened World Network Facebook page and YouTube channel. And I invite you to like, follow, and share the Enlightened World Network and me. The links are in the description. And as always, it is such a deep pleasure and privilege to spend this time with you. And so until next time, so, so, so much love. <laughs>